up, we're going to have a look at system configuration. Now, system configuration is probably one of my favourite tools in the uh, Windows environment, and it's actually a tool that's been around for a while. Now, there's a number of ways of getting to it. Okay, let's go down to start. For those of you who are used to Windows 95, 98, um, ME, uh, XP, typing in MS config will give you your system configuration. Now, here it is. Cancel out of it. Go down to start and type in SYS. You'll also get system configuration, which is exactly the same version. Microsoft, very wisely in this instance, actually left the command for uh, from Windows XP and earlier versions in uh, to bring up this very useful utility. Now, at the beginning, you have your um, startup selection, and there are a number of options here. Uh, when you first install your system, it will be the normal startup, which loads all device drivers and services. Now, if you are having problems with your system, it sometimes is advisable to come into here and look at the diagnostic startup. Now, you can come in here, loading diagnostic startup. What will happen, it'll actually run through a whole range of diagnostic checks, uh, such as testing your memory, uh, your hard disk drives, and things like that. And it's a very useful um, way of re not so much rebuilding, it, but fixing minor issues with your system. Uh, if you do have to run a diagnostic startup, what I normally suggest then is, is then to follow it up with a normal startup. So run the diagnostic first. If that's all fine, then run your normal. If that's all fine, then you can go back to your selective startup. Notice the selective startup is here. What this does here is says, look, I'm loading my system services, but I've edited. And that's why it's greyed out. Okay, there are three states here. Okay. Um, but I'm going to choose this one, it'll come through. It's, I've edited what's actually in my startup tab, and I'll get to my startup tab in a short while. Here's my boot, and as you can see, here's the, the boot system configuration here. It's going to <coughs> be booting from the C Windows directory, which is my current operating system. If I had multiple operating systems on this machine, this would show up here. Um, I can boot into safe mode if I want and choose out of drivers, okay. I can log the boot, okay, and I can make all permanent boot per settings permanent if I'd like to, okay. There are advanced options if I have different processes, processors, etc. Okay, I can play around with them. I can actually allocate the max amount of memory to go to that. So if I wanted to have a dual boot system, I can play around in here. Services, these are all the services. Now, one of the fun things you can do here is you can hide all your Microsoft services and it will then show you only the services running from various device drivers. Okay, so you can then choose to either have those services run or not. And knowing that you're actually not playing around with or making up any of your Microsoft services. Okay, that way you prevent a little oops happening. Now, the most important area for me is my startup. In here, I can choose what are going to start up and what are not going to start up. Okay, now, before, because I um, put that, deselected it, um, I now have to come back in and choose what are going to start up. Um, and I have a, a whole range of different um, areas I will. You'll tend to find that most of the ones down the bottom here, um, for example, no longer use the TomTom. -tom, so I've removed the tick from the startup so it will not start up. Okay. Um, Skype, even though I use Skype on a regular basis, I don't need it to actually run at startup. Uh, I can commence Skype whenever I want that service to start. So extremely useful tool, very good way of stopping programs that have uh, decided they're going to start when your Windows um, machine starts up, which can be extremely annoying and can slow your uh, 
whole system down. And the final thing, the tools. In our tools setting here, you actually have a list of all of the um, various tools um, that um, are available on your Windows machine. If I want to um, launch any of these, say if I wanted to go into Event Viewer, simply highlight it and click on Launch. What will happen is, as you can see, Event Viewer has launched and I can use Event Viewer if I'd like. Okay, I'll close it off. Back to where I am. So now you can see why system configuration is one of my favourite tools because it, it's quite simply a shortcut. Um, task manager we launched earlier on from right clicking on the taskbar. But if I happen to be in my system configuration, I need task manager, simply highlight it, launch, and hey, presto, there's task manager up and running for me. Now I'm going to cancel out. If I was to apply any of the changes I had made, normally I would have to do a reboot of this machine for those changes to take effect. Cancel, 